Hello there guys, Tev1990 here and welcome back to this live stream. It has been rather a hot minute since I last did a stream. Um, the, the, the reasons for this will become uh, clear uh, at some point during the stream. If you just bear with me one second guys. Just bear with me, I do apologise. I've got to do all my usual bits and pieces. Share it to there. Yes, so like I was saying guys, the reasons for the re uh, for me not doing a live stream uh, will become apparent at some point during this stream. Um, I'll be going through that with you. Um, so let me just test my volume. Yeah, that's good. So what we're going to do is we're, go we're using my new liveried loco. Uh, we are going to be going from Acton Yard to New Haven Aggregates, loading up. And then bringing those aggregates back to Acton Yard. Uh, we will continue as each part of the scenario finishes. I do believe between that one and that one, that one finishing and that one starting, there is a period of about 20 minutes. That is when I'll be going through with you everything that's happened. So let's get into it. So let's say, guys, how you all doing? Hope you're all doing okay. I'm fair to middly at the moment. So, but we're getting there. So I've actually uh, been for a job interview today um, with a uh, well-known supermarket chain for one of their uh, customer delivery drivers vacancies. I've decided that office work <laughs> doesn't suit me. I love doing the thing with the NHS, but unfortunately office work does not suit me at all. I'm more get up and go and get my hands dirty so what we'll do is we're going to set up for our trip I want my instrument lights on I want that on and then we're going to go there and there and there and there we're going to keep that in and everything so what we're going to do guys is this we shall show you my new loco that I've been working on or my new livery so you will see guys, we'll come to the front and you can see we have our number there which is 661990 we are using the class 66 hence the notion of 66 and we have our company on the side or my fictional company on the side which is central rail distribution we'll go down here um, I have taken basically ripped off EWS's livery but I've this loco has been in the planning for quite a while and it's been through many different liveries and everything else and this is the one that I thought I'd try and to be honest I think it looks rather not I mean that you've got the odd little imperfections here and there but you know I'm sure I can sort that out eventually um, there's no stickers or anything on it yet because it is still in the development phase this livery but the reason I call it my loco oh yeah Tev1990 nameplate <laughs> and oh crap we better get going So there we go and go yeah this is the final livery that it's that uh, it's going into like I said I've got to put some uh, stickers on it and everything 
I say stickers, all the warning signs and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll be uh, golden. So let's get ready on the horn. Must be brakes light. Yep, brakes are off. So let's go. Give her another notch. And then we'll have a look on the outside view. Oh, yes. So the outside view, I didn't realise it was that kind of high impact green. I am going to have to darken it down a bit. But, yeah, the outside view is really rather nice. There we go, the TEP1990 nameplate there. So yes, so like I say, we're going down to New Haven Aggregates. Uh, we're going to be loading up the wagons that are behind me. And then we will uh, run round, or run the loco round, and then wait for our time to come back. So... All good fun, and the thing is, obviously, with this guy, this is the first loco that I've done with this livery. Um, there are plans for as more of the preserved collection and whatever comes next um, get added onto the livery editor. I will be putting this livery on to those locos. Um, I would like to try and keep the whole thing with the big yellow stripe running down the center, you know, or running down the side of the loco with the number on it and then the CRD underneath. But I don't know if that's going to be possible, particularly if the class 8 and 9 get put onto the livery editor. But we shall see. Oh, dear. Let's have a quick sip of my drink there. Let's apply some more power. We need to get it up to about 40 mile an hour. So that we can take the right hand or take the tracks that lead off to the right to go down to New Haven. So we are actually on the East Coastway route here, guys, as well. Um, the 66s are on the Great Western Express route as well. But uh, I'm not a big fan of hauling containers or anything like that. Uh, I prefer proper wagons. You know, things like that to prat around with. Let's turn the throttle down a bit. Oh, there we go. Now we can get some speed up. So we currently have just over three and a half miles to go. And I know when we pull into New Haven, it is a 15 mile an hour zone, so I'm going to have to be slowing down quite a bit before we get there. Don't want to be going too quick down here. Oh, look at that. That is nice, though. The colours do go well together. Oh. So there we go, that's our uh, wagons that we've got. Yeah, like I say, it is a pretty much a direct rip off of, rip off of the EWS livery, but like I said, it, 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 this is the one that works for me. You know, it's the one that looks nice and everything. 
and they are totally different colours and everything so you can't really get them confused and the company initials are different as well I've been trying all these weird and wonderful patterns and all this lot and it, none of it's looked right some of it you know some of it's looked good but majority of it just looked absolutely shocking uh, it was this that really looked the part for me So we're fast approaching this 60 mile an hour zone, so I've just got to keep an eye on my speed. There we go, we're at a nice 44 mile an hour, 43 now. Let's just apply a bit of power. Just to bring that speed up just a tad. As close to 50 as I want to go. Or keep it at a nice 43, either which way. Is what we are, we're just over a mile to go. Yes, and also the reason why I've chosen this, guys, is because we have to use the slow control or slow speed control or something like that. What's it called? What's my little switch there called? Slow speed control. There we go. Yeah, we actually get to mess around with that as well when we're loading up the wagons, which I really do like doing. So, right, we've got an amber signal here. I think we're going to be slowing down to about 15 very shortly. So I think it's an idea just to start slowing down now. There you go, we've got it down to a nice 30 mile an hour there. Oh dear. And also, the other thing I've got to tell you guys is um, I have been a busy, busy bee with um, delivery of another Class 66 as well. Um, there's a, a YouTube channel which I watch, uh, which is called Asheville. And uh, it's about an aggregates company and everything. And the guy that owns it is quite big into trains and he has mentioned that the eventual plan for his company is to have its own train and wagons that they can use to bring all the material and everything to the yard and all this lot and that sent my mind into a bit of overdrive and I decided to design a loco for them on Train Sim World using the livery editor and uh, because he does like the class 66 luckily enough we can do the class 66 and I sent those screenshots over to the company uh, the other day so via email so we'll just see if I get an email back because it, the only reason I sent them over is because it was it's something that I've done and uh, you know spent a lot of time doing 
I'm quite proud of it. Now, and I thought it'd be nice to, you know, share with that particular YouTube channel or whatever. You know, uh, if they end up using that particular design, then hey, you know, th th I've left my mark on something as well, you know. So I shall uh, keep you updated on that one as to whether I get an email back or not and what happens. So let's just start slowing her down nice and easy. Oh. Nice and easy. Boom. Happy days. There we go. Nice and easy, that one. Right. So what we'll do is we'll continue. And if we go continue free roam, that should, in theory, give us the... Ah, oh, okay, so I've got to wait ten minutes, have I? Okie dokie. So, whilst we're here, guys, we'll take a nice look at the... Yeah, again, we'll use the, like, the drone view kind of thing. So, my plan is, I'm going to have couple of signs on this door and a few bits and pieces or you know uh, an information kind of sticker down here on the front there will be warning stickers on those bits and it'll be the same on the rear as well there'll be signs on these doors as well um, so yeah so I'm also going to be adding a little thing onto here which is like you know like and subscribe on YouTube you know and put the the logos on for YouTube and Facebook seeing as this is my loco that carries my name and everything or carries my gamer name I'm rather pleased with that that's come out rather well as has the uh, the number and the company name. There you go, you get a closer look at the, the logo now. So yeah, this is the basic yeah, the basic livery that you're gonna see on all the other locos that I can uh, put it on from the preserved collection and those that are coming up, those that I want to put it on anyway. You know, I could put this on every loco in the the livery editor at the moment, but some of it would uh, some of them would look absolutely stupid with it on to be brutally honest uh, but this is going to be the only one that carries the number 6619990 so it's 1323 okay what we're going to do guys just to speed this along a bit we will quit that we'll jump into the next scenario because I didn't actually realise how long we'd have to wait for that I thought it was only like two or three minutes. I didn't realise it was ten. So. Right, we go explore. Oh, dear me. Set that up to that. Let's go. There we go. Da, 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 da. There we go. Right. And it was that one. So we want to do this one. So 
so we'll let that one load up and I do believe we'll end up at, on the other side of the at the other end of the train I do so that's probably what we'd have had to have been doing when uh oh excuse me So I can see that there's two people watching now, guys. If you want to jump in the comments, let me know that you're there. That would be brilliant. Hopefully, I've got it set up right where the comments will come through as uh, so that I can hear them instead of having to look at my phone and everything. So, oh dear me, excuse me. Right, uh, da -da 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 switches. Hello from upstairs. <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh, I don't want to go. Oh, yeah, I do want to go forward, don't I? Right. Uh, is that all good? Yeah, that's all good. All my lights. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Fantastic. Okie dokies. So. We've got to go, push it, and we've got to go down here, hokey dokes, so we're going to go, is that, no that's the front camera, let's try it, rear cam, there we go, uh -oh. so we're going to use the rear camera, Uh, there we go. For some reason the brake wasn't coming off. Uh, apply a bit of power. Who there else is watching? I don't know. Somebody must be watching, because it's coming up as two people. I know my partner's watching. Oh, sugar. I think I've just realised I've just cocked up here. I'm going to have to do a quick bit of cheating if I can get it on there. There we go. I should have really thought about that before. I. But there you go. Right, well we've got the power off anyway, so that's good. We're just coasting down there now. They ran off. Uh, must have done. Must have done. Uh, let's apply a bit of brake. That's too much brake. My driving instructor said never to coast. Well, you can in locos, it's fine. It's perfectly acceptable in trains. Right, brake on. go so that's that one loading up so while that's loading up we shall flip the slow speed control on I'm going to set that to let's set it to 1.4 miles an hour we shall then go to the EM 2000 I need to cycle across to slow speed select and then start so now slow speed is Active. All right, um, let's take the brake off. So 
So it'll probably take us to about 1.6 mile an hour. Oh, there you go, 1.5, 1.6. And then you can hear the, the engine's cut itself out. Even though I've still got power on, on notch 3, the engine's cut out. And we are doing 1.6 mile an hour. And hopefully, that should mean that all of these wagons will fill up. Yeah, it looks like we'll be okay with that. I might just nip that slow speed thing down to 1.2 or 1, whichever. Just so that we've got a a good chance of actually filling up the wagons. That was another train just come past, wasn't it? Yep, there it is. So that's the passenger train that you get with the East Coastway DLC. I'm sure I've done videos on that for all the scenarios and everything. There we go, look. Look at that. All that material. Lovely. How many wagons have we got to go? So we've got one, two, three, four wagons left. Yeah, well, I could have a brew while we did it, won't we? Turn the hot plate on. Yeah, put the kettle on. What's that? Train stop override. Oh, okay. Brake test service. Oh, brakes are in test, are they? Oh no, they're in service. Okay. Oh, looks like we're filling up the last hopper. Or, the, no, the second to last hopper. There we go, now we're coming into the last one. There we go, it's loading up. So let's turn the power off. We've got enough forward momentum to carry us. And then we'll, there we go, just put a little bit of braking on. Alright. Put her in neutral, at reverse even. So I want to go stop, exit, and turn that off. Alright then. Just put a bit of power on. Just to get us moving, because it's a nice heavy train now. So let's put it in notch five. This goes all the way up to notch eight. On the uh, control. Or the, uh, yeah, the throttle lever. It's got a good turn of speed as well. Once it gets moving, it has got a good turn of speed. You know, if you gun the throttle straight away. It's the speed that it's allowed to do is 90. It's top speed it's a, this loco is allowed to do is 90 mile an hour. Now, a bit earlier on today, I decided just to mess around with it. And I put it on the West Somerset Railway. Did a 
proper scenario thing for it and I was running from the very end of it to the Hello. of the West Somerset Railway Hello. to the um, station at Minehead six. who was that again sorry Flaming Network 2190. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> um, yes, but I, I ran it from Bishop's Lydiard or Lydiard or whatever you want to call it up to Minehead. And whether this is representative or not of this Locos true, yeah, I managed to get it up to 150 mile an hour. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's it. Whether that's going for the the thing or not is a different matter. So, right, let's go and uncouple these wagons then. And then what we'll do, I think we've got to run the loco round then, haven't we? So, I'll go. Da -da -da -da. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's up the other end, isn't it? My nameplate. Right, um, let's go into... No, door's there. Pillock. There we go. Jump back into the seat. Alright, I'll go head out the window again. Lewis, Eastbourne Lewis, Brighton. Oh, yeah. Well, this is what it is. It's uh, the East Coastway one. Three seven seven S. I think that's the. Isn't that the loco that we get in the, the thing now? The passenger loco, on this particular DLC. Might help if I just looked at the. Soon to be three one three. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's the 377s that we... The, the, the passenger loco on the East Coastway DLC. I'm sure it is. I could be wrong. I probably am. Uh, give it a little bit of breaking. No date set. Right. Let's go out... And down again. Let's go and switch. Let's do it properly this time. There we go. So, um, for those of you that just joined us, if you give me a couple of minutes, I won't be doing that. Um, we'll get this loco ran round. Tab, there uh, is no date for the class 313. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. So yes, we'll run this loco round and then once we're waiting for uh, the next part of this thing to start. Oh look, there's the passenger loco. It's too soon though. Ah. Cut that. But yes, once we've run this loco round, I'll explain to you or explain to on the video why it's been a while since I've done a live stream and we'll also have a look oh sugar I'm speeding um, I will also have a look round this loco again like we did at the start of the stream when I didn't realize that we've been told to go <laughs> I've got a green light oh my word There we go. Happy days.
<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. <coughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, something got caught in my throat there. All right. Let us run up here, you know. And now I've got to switch this junction. That's I thought I could hear a siren. I forgot you can hear sirens on this particular one. I didn't know if it was in the game or actually outside. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is, it's either the Tees Valley line or the Trans Pennine one. You actually hear the old two-tone sirens, the proper two-tone air horns. Right. Got. Had to attend to Discord. <laughs> that, that, that's something that I couldn't quite get into. Well, I haven't quite gotten into yet. It's Discord. You know, it's, uh, I've had a look at it, and I can't say I'm all that fussed with it. You know, I, I've got too many things on my phone that ping and pop and whistle and god knows what else and it just does me head in you know all the constant vibration and the and all the rest of it you know so ah, boy. oh you sod that was a bit hard right so yeah I can't uh, not really too fond of or I can't really be dealing with discord that's Mm, sorry. I missed that one, sorry. Right, so what we'll do is we'll go into free roam. Let's just jump in. How's the wife? M.O.G. Wink. <laughs> M.O.G. Wink. I love it. Uh, she's doing very well. She's currently upstairs. I think she might be watching. I'm not entirely sure. What time's the next service? 14.15. Bloody hell. We've got a fair while to wait. That's fine. That gives me a chance to do what I want to do. Um, so, let me just make safe. Uh, brakes are on, which is good. Still waiting on the pig and ring. What's her first name? <laughs> she is still waiting on the ring and her first name is Rachel. If you look in the very start of the comments, she actually commented. MOG man face balming, medium light skin tone. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this. Yeah, this MLG little grinning squinting face. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this voice that comes through, but I've got it set to text uh, comments to speech and it's just come up with MOG uh face palm and then medium tone skin face. <laughs> Oh. Medium light skin tone. There you go. That's what it said. Man face palming. Medium light skin tone. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Anyway, so we'll run you through the this uh, new loco livery that I've done for myself. So as you can see, uh, 66 denoting it's a class 66. 19990 denoting that it's far of it. Yeah, yeah, R-A-C-H-A-E-L, the proper way to spell it. Um, 
MOG man baseball named Dark Skin Tone. Dark Skin Tone this time, bloody hell. Um, but yes, uh, so if we go around to this side, we can see that this is my fictional company. Um, this loco has been in the development stage for quite a long time. Um, and now I've settled on basically a rip-off of the EWS livery. And it went through many different uh, patterns and things like that. I like say th this one was the best one. You know, there's no stickers on it, uh, signage or anything at the moment. It's still in development for that, but there will be eventually. And the reason I also say it's my locomotive is I have my own nameplate on there. I've decided to put that on. Um, every loco that comes into the uh, editor. MOG man baseball name, light uh, skin tone. MOG <laughs> man baseball name, medium skin tone. MOG man baseball name, dark skin tone. MOG man baseball name, medium light skin tone. MOG man oh, God baseball say. name, MOG man baseball name, medium dark skin tone. Oh God, how many are there? <laughs> oh dear me. Um, but yeah, so every loco that comes onto the livery editor from the preserved collection or uh, what come up on the new DLCs that are coming, any of them that I like, they're going to get the uh, CRD livery. And this I want to. Sounds like us playing with the Alexa announcements. It does. <laughs> it does. Emoji happy tears. Can you hear that little voice that I can hear? Please tell me if you can. Because I've never actually watched any of my streams. Six. Six? Yeah. Uh, no, I've never actually watched any of my streams to see if you can hear it or not. Um, but yeah, they're going to be that basic livery design. I want to keep it with the number in the big yellow stripe and the CRD underneath it and all this lot. Might not work out on the class 8 and the class 9, but we'll see what happens. So, um... Six oh. medium faces, emoji happy tears. <laughs> right, just, just give me two seconds. Just Like the bit on the platform we had last week. All right, so confession time. The reason I have not I feel he has the ring on his desk. <laughs> the reason that I have not been doing any live streams for well over a month now is the fact that um I have unfortunately um been signed off work with anxiety and depression. And um, I know it doesn't sound you know, like I'm very, you know, anxious or depressed or anything like that. Um, but I've become well adept at hiding it. Let's put it that way. Um, uh, it got to a head a couple of weeks ago. Well, over a month ago. Um, where I couldn't actually walk into work. You know, I kept going towards the door, walking back from the door, going towards the door, walking back from the door. And um, I just couldn't walk into the building, so I rang my manager. We had a bit of a talk on the phone, and uh, I got in contact with my doctors, and I've been signed off ever since. I'm taking medications and things like that. I am slowly feeling better. This has been going on for quite a number of years now, I think, personally. Um, we don't think that 
recent events like my granddad passing and things like that have really helped um, but I think it's been going on for a number of years you know and it's just taking me a long time look at the world in different ways you have to take life as slowly as possible never to rush life away exactly exactly and um, you know it's it was a thing of me now finally accepting that I need help my partner has been telling me for a number of years that there's something wrong you know because I have I do have a really bad temper one minute I can be extremely happy the next minute I can be absolutely raging and it is literally on the flick of a switch you know and it's not normal it's not a it's not a normal thing you know so but yeah I've been to the doctors been signed off and everything I'm getting uh, getting there with uh, organising some help for myself and everything and I'll say I, I am feeling better I've had a few cu a, a couple of days where you know I've been a bit here and there you know and it's a case of basically just leave me alone you know let me deal with it myself exactly so but yes that's the reason why I've not been on the streams or anything because I just haven't obviously been in the right headspace to be able to do that yeah I'm still not in the right headspace but I feel okay enough to go yeah I want to do a stream you know so hopefully this is the the beginning of uh, the new uh, yeah the beginning of the new chapter for the Tev 1990 channel you know where it's primarily just live streams there will be the odd recorded video here and there but uh, like I said primarily live streams I think when and if Steam uh, Steam Loco sorry get added into the game there will definitely be a few uh, pre-recorded videos for that so oh dear me we've still got another bloody 15 minutes to wait until my time bloody hell so yes well like I say it's uh, not been an incredibly good month <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly as I say it's not uh, tell you what we'll do sod it I've got through it yeah I've done I've shown you the, the, the shown you all the livery again and everything I've got through what I wanted to tell you so you know like I say hopefully things are looking up and everything I've been for a, another job interview today um even though I'm supposed to be off sick but hey we're not going into that um and uh, yeah things are looking up on that one I have another assessment next week why I never drive the 66 on that route <laughs> yes because it takes too long <laughs> oh there we go yeah it was a class 377 um right so we're gonna nip into the switch delivery to that one which one have I just done it was that one, wasn't it? So we're now going from New Haven to Acton. Happy days. Oh, I do like the look of them. They are very nice. And I'm looking forward to that as well. Rush hour. I wonder if we're going to be getting some uh, LNER. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to be getting some LNER liveried uh, stock in a future update because it, it's funny enough saying about that I was talking about this to my partner Rachel the other day That's flaming <laughs> um, it's funny that as soon as LNER come back on the scene all the rail companies 
are going back to the old style of wording you know and having abbreviations i mean that the company near me or the company that services my Does area network have a name? i don't know uh but yeah the company that's you know uh, what? <laughs> Somebody wants to know, does Flaming Network have a name? <laughs> yes, it's plus six six emoji happy tears. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> all right then. So all my points are switched. That's good. I did put it in forwards, didn't I? Yeah. Did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Am I wheel slipping? No. Okay. Um, but yes, so... Happy days. What I would like to know is how old is Flaming Network? I'm putting you on the spot there, now. <laughs> Ah, sweet. Fair enough. Oh, dear. What? That You're banging. Five years old. That northerner. <laughs> yes, definitely a northerner. I think we've had that conversation before. It's up uh, Tyne sideway. Because I think we had a con I think one of the times I was doing the. Uh, was it the Tees Valley? That I was on? Teesside, MOG flag, United Kingdom. Teesside, that's it, not Tyne side. Yes, because myself and Rachel were up that, that way a couple of months ago. Um, for, unfortunately, going for a funeral for uh, one of Rachel's relatives. Oh, that banging noise. Is that the wagons banging? It's got to be the wagons banging. Let's gun that throttle. Let's make the black stuff. Or maybe not. I think when we've got a few more locos and everything all done up in this livery, I think, just for the giggle, I need to make a spoof, like TV advert, advertising, One thing I CRD. Is the AWS. I don't think I've run it with AWS yet. Um, I like using it on the older stock, um, you know, like your 37s and all the rest of it, but... I haven't run the 377 with AWS. I don't think I've actually run this with AWS, to be honest. So, I don't even know where it bloody is. To be, I, I can't even remember. So, 
be. I like using it on the older stock, like I say, like the 37s and things like that. I don't quite understand what all the bells and whistles do, but... You know, what it's supposed to signify, but it, it's nice to have it there and to listen to it and everything. And it gives you something else to, you know, you have to click the button and everything, don't you, to cancel it. Two zero. Oh. Ah, uh, fuck it, Class do it properly. Zero. Class 20, oh yes. The chopper. Oh yes, I do I do like the Class 20. I had a... Uh, I think I had a British Rail version of it on my layout when I was a kid. But it didn't like the tight curves that I'd got on it and it used to derail itself frequently so I ended up taking it back to the shop and I got a virgin diesel I can't remember which one it is but I've still got it somewhere and uh, to be honest that was no better but <laughs> my dad said can you? please do tell me how You can't. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, unfor yeah, yeah. unfortunately, yeah, you can't. It, you get the... Yeah. <laughs> MOG pensive face. It would be nice if you could. Yeah, no, I say, yeah, with the control, you have to. See, this is. Why the American locos are Just yeah. to look to left or right and do it manually. Yep, exactly. What I tend to do if I'm not recording or anything like that, I have the screen set like that and then I can move that bit and then Yeah, obviously if I get it set up right. So but it does get a little bit uh, a little bit funny doing that after a while. Let's just let it coast. Bring the speed down naturally, hopefully. I don't know, but hey ho. I'd love to be able to do this in VR. That would be good. I don't have a VR headset. Do you realize you're two years older than our eldest daughter? Well, she's one four in September. <laughs> you know what? I hadn't actually thought about that. Yeah. Yes. Flaming Network. Our eldest daughter is 13. Ha ha ha. Emoji happy tears. Alright, I think we're going to need a little bit of break on, just to bring us down to 40. Oh, I've got a green, uh, green signal, no I've got a year. Oh very nice. I've got a, oh no it is a green signal now, it was amber, now it's green. Uh, I already know the next question coming, I already know the next question coming.
Ah, dear me. And if she doesn't... There we go, what date? <laughs> what date? <laughs> I was going to say, if she doesn't ask it, I'm going to ask it. <laughs> oh, 20 mile an hour. Break, break, break. Take the brake off. That'll be enough. Got another Can amber signal. <laughs> the reason she's asking is because her sister's birthday is in November. Twenty fifth. <laughs> it's the day after her sisters. <laughs> Michael, dare you to say which date? Well, I've pretty much just given the game away on that one, haven't I? Break on. Oh. Oh well. Mine slow on the uptake. <laughs> well, there we go. That was going from Acton Yard to New Haven, faffing around in New Haven, and then coming back to Act or well, Lose anyway. Um. So, I think, what, uh, what should we do? Let's have a quick look. Let's have a look. Let's go to the main menu. Main menu. Three, seven, seven. You want a three, seven, seven one, do you? Okay. Let's have a look. I have already... I'll tell you what, let's do this one. We'll do the French Connection. Yeah. It's a nice easy one, and it's a nice short one. Right then. So, welcome to Lose. A boat train service has arrived from London. You're tasked with operating the last leg down to New Haven Harbour. So it's going to be this one. It's got to be, isn't it? Let's just wait for all the things to come up. There we go. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I do apologise. How very rude. Right, that, uh, oh, 
that. So we want to unlock the doors, you know. Alright, signal. No. Let's okay. Ah, okay. Ding. Right. I uh, don't want tail lights, I want headlights. Stay running. You know, it, it, I, I can't remember if it does it or not. When you close the doors, I don't know, I can't remember if you get the guard giving you the buzz or not. your destination I don't think you, I don't think you can actually set it to New Haven Harbour um, hang on let me have a quick look uh, left panel there we go PIS uh, where are we box uh, down 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 uh, no, there's nothing there for New Haven. There's Portsmouth Harbour. Hey, Portsmouth in Southsea. <laughs> it's near where I used to live. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll set it to special. Seeing as this was a special request to do the 377, we'll set it to special. And I'm probably going to be late, but oh well. Let's have a look. See if it actually says special. Special! <laughs> right. Uh, let's exit that board. There we go. Right. Oh, I forgot. Ah, yeah, this has got cruise control, isn't it? Hey! Nice. Right. So, He's we're ready. He's a silly southerner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My dad was a northerner. <laughs> so, right. Yes. Um, that's in forward, so we want to go... Very silly. Hmm, yes, very silly. Where's my cab light? My per... It's got to be around here somewhere. Is that it? No, that's AC. AC temperature. MCB, MCB. I've got a clue what any of that crap is. Question is how do you say scone? <laughs> I say it is in stone. Lights don't do hit. Yeah, so it, yeah, say it is in stone, so I say scone. This is a, a regular source of uh, debate between myself and Rachel, because she says it is scone. Right, Lights that's... don't do anything. Now... Right, so what's this speed that I'm allowed to do? Right, if we set it to 40 then. Because I think that's the, the speed of which I'm going to be able to have to do very shortly. Usually drive, don't use it. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm lazy, though. But now we'll, we'll take it off in a minute. Back her and drive. <laughs> Alright, let's give it the beans. Get it up to... 70 or as damn clear close as I can get it. Truck man. 
<laughs> so we have precisely six minutes to get to our destination. Uh, we've got four point five miles to go. I don't want to break on. Pillock. Um, I don't think we're going to make it on time, but hey, as long as we follow uh, the rules and everything, doesn't matter if we're late. As long as we're safe while doing so. Try crashing it. Because <laughs> I, I know what happens, because I did that in the 66 earlier on the West Somerset thing when I had it up to 150 mile an hour <laughs> derailed itself and it I was in the uh, internal cab view and it glitched out <laughs> I ended up outside of the window of the front end of the Be cab yeah ended up outside the front window of the cab and then back inside the cab then outside the front window again then back in and then it I saw it sort of like flip over on its side from inside. So I, I, a little you panic attack. Has an extension layer. An extension layer? Nah, uh, I'm not, not really that knowledgeable about modern stuff on trains and everything, so you'd have to explain that one to me. I like them and everything, but I don't know all the ins and outs. There we go. We'll do that instead. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye on all me. Such as if you go on the route, you would go past the last stop for the loco. Stay on it. It takes you somewhere. Okay. You got southeastern high speed? Uh, no, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be in a position to uh, get that for quite a while. I know it's only like 15, 25 quid, but it's still 15, 25 quid. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't be spending it at the moment. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things, you know. I'll get it eventually, it's just not at the moment. Oh, break, 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 break. That wasn't very comfortable for the passengers, I can guarantee that. Oh. I they boops, did I say that out loud? MOG cold sweat. <laughs> What's that then? Is that an EWS? Oh, so it is. Alright. There we go. We're not that far off the harbour now, anyway. Saw six six one three zero. Uh, 
Ah, right. I think that was 66139. That one that we've just passed. So... Yeah, because there is quite a famous... I don't understand. There is quite a six, famous six, one. 66169. 66169, six, there you go. Yeah, there is quite a famous one, isn't there? That... Everybody seems to want to photograph and all this lot. Six six seven seven nine. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, sh shite. We're going to fail this, I think. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I can vaguely remember the EWS ones running up and down. The I think there are still some of them left in EWS livery. But uh, where they were all running out of, um, for my area, was just up the road from... Yeah. They're just up uh, the road from me in a place called Toten. Um... And I've been to that yard a couple of times, just to, you know, yeah, have a just st standing there and watching, you know. I think now they're all run by DB. I think, yeah, yeah, they've took over EWS or something like that. Anyway. Either which way, the yard's now a DB yard, not EWS. Alright, that's it for this run. Great Thanks for lending. Hmm. Thanks for lending a hand. You are most welcome. Do I need to shut it down, or apparently not? There we go. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, dear me. Something I have been doing recently, I've been doing some of that sand patch stuff. That's quite decent. Alright, <sighs> so we are on the east... Gonna get some rest. Oh, I don't blame you. I think, to be honest, I think I'm going to be calling it quits on that one as well. So, I thank you all for joining. And, uh, what well, we've had nearly nearly a hundred comments on that one that's the m most i've had for quite a while on a on a stream so i thank you all for that it's been good chatting to you all and everything we've had Not a bit a of a of USA track. yeah yeah amtrak's all right i do like the american ones you know big shiny and noisy but hey um but yeah thanks all for watching and everything it's been a bit it's been a, a good laugh and everything and uh yeah like i said Fingers crossed that this is going to be the new norm for me now for live streams and everything. And uh, one zero one comments. Say there you go. <laughs> one zero two comments. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll be back on the uh, the streaming uh, business. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching, and we shall catch you all on the next and fun. Rachel. <laughs> yes, uh, so ta-da for now.